What the fuck was he doing? Toilet paper. What could you possibly be doing with toilet paper after you stole a vehicle? What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Sam. And yes, y'all see the title? Yes, this really happened. This is not clickbait. This is real. This shit was real life. This shit really happened. <laughs> So basically, before we hop in the video, I'm going to just briefly tell you what had happened. So I pull up the wing stop, park right in the front. They have a big window so you can see right through while you're in the store. I order my food. You know, I'm waiting for my food. My food's finally ready. I had two drinks. So as soon as he handed me the cups to the drinks, remember, I'm not looking at my vehicle no more. I'm looking at him, you know, he's trying to hand me the cups. I grabbed the cups and then something just told me to turn around. I turn around. My car's gone, bro. I was like, what? Like my brain just, everything was going so fast. Like someone really committed grand theft <laughs> on me. <laughs> but you know, as I was waiting for my food, you know, I took a little look out the window, you know, just see who was out there. I looked at my car, you know, everything cool. But it was crazy, man. I just, I left the keys in the car. I left them running as well. And yes, the car was unlocked. Because I'm not even thinking, like, man, I'm just, you know, I'm in and out, man. I'm about to grab my food. I'm in. I'm back. It literally took, like, a minute, less than a minute, my car was gone. And I pulled in forward, so he had to back out, too. Like, it's crazy. But I'm doing too much talking right now. Let's just hop right into the video. And just one thing, man, do not leave your keys in the car while running. Hi, man. So right now, we're... It's like a repeat, like of the Malibu picking up from the tow yard. In the, in the rental. In the rental, but we're back in a rental right now. We're on our way to pick the vehicle up at the tow yard. And this is like I'm on repeat. It's crazy. Motherfucker was grubbing in here. Look, he got the hot dog. He went from he got a couple stops. I don't know what they was trying to do in here. That's my baby's diapers I had in here. Motherfucker was wiping his ass with toilet paper in this motherfucker. Like crazy. But I can't even pop the trunk either because the battery did. I don't know what he was doing here. He probably left it on the whole time. But this the baby man back. Not you no, know, not too much. Damage, but little cosmetic damage that's here and there. He, you know, it looks like he bent the rim a little bit too. Curb branch all around. The whole headlight gone right here. Right there. It's crazy. Yeah, I have my whole bag in the back too. He probably ran through that bag too. But like I said, the battery did. Hey, you can try it, yeah. That's fine. Look, man's jacket. That shit. He took everything. My whole bag was back here. And this the engine. What was this man going through? whole fucking engine is just crazy through the mud and all yeah it just looked like he did uh mm -hmm. yeah i got that light too he didn't really ain't see the underbody yet yeah it looked like he just tore up a couple of the plastic pieces And right here, yeah, he had to go through the mud or something. So I got to get it towed straight to Accra because the guy took my key. I don't know what he did. He probably still has the key. Probably threw away the key. Who knows? But and also, man, police, man, the police said they reported no damage. But as you can see, there's damage. I mean, not that much damage, but cosmetic damage. And uh, but yeah, we about to make our way onto the Accra dealership and get this key. 
it's just weird because like my first time. Oh. Why is it all the way? <gasps> it's chilly today too, man. But I'm here with the car. It's got those off as well. I know a lot of people have a question too, like, you know, how, how does it feel? How am I feeling right now? Really, man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cool and stuff. It's just, it put a hold on a process. Like the process of me, you know, finishing the car, finishing the car of how it looks and just, you know, it affects other things like, you know, my hustle and because, you know, I got to take care of this situation, but really on how I feel, man, just, this for anybody, like, if you get your vehicle stolen, just, you know, take the extra precautions, you know, on what to do next. Protect yourself first, and then, you know, protect your assets, like, your, you know, my vehicle. And I feel neutral, like, it's funny because, like, I knew they were going to find it. Like, as soon as I filed a report, you know, they gave me a detective on my case to, you know, solve the problem, and now, you know, look, it's, it's here. And by the way, it's a uh, 2012 Acura TL. This is my A and B car. You know, I had the Malibu. If y'all haven't seen that video, you should go check it out. I got into a serious wreck in my 2018 Malibu. Go check that out. And then I end up buying my, you know, A and B. So, but the process is crazy, man. It slowed down the process a little bit. Like I said, I'm, you know, unfortunately, I got to take care of this problem. It's just crazy, man. I just feel, I, I'm really how I feel right now. I feel really good because, you know, my baby's back. Like, on it at all my baby's back and i just got to take you know baby steps to get this thing you know sorted out and solved that's it i got to get a whole new key get a different lock so the motherfucker if he still has my key he can't access the whip but yeah man like i said it's just a little i wonder if i was like not even a month in you know the process of building a vehicle but so there's two routes we can go all right so accurate uh has a like a package where they change because there's only two ways we can do this okay i can change this uh-huh you'll have a different key that will start the car with. that's perfect that's all you need i think right? that's perfect yeah because really i just need this change now change everything uh -huh. from ignition to door loss to everything but that like that's like that's like a what thousand dollars huh no like More than that? Is just in labor. Oh, shit. Damn. So, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You're yeah. looking at like almost three bands yeah, just yeah, for yeah. that. But you get, you know, you get three, you get all three new keys, mm -hmm. you get uh, the new ignitioner, and then all these get changed as well. This is what I'm going to do. I need this change. Okay. So this will be a whole different key to yeah. the end of the view. Yeah. So okay. that'll always be like that. You'll have a key to get in. Gotcha. And then you have a key to start the car. Okay. I'm going to get that, and then just give me a new reprogrammed key for the ignition and to start the vehicle. So like you heard it, man. Whole new key. So you can't get in here. It's gonna be a whole different key. It's gonna be always like that. I mean, hey, you know, rather be safe than sorry. The daddy's car. You remember these rims? Yeah, you remember? They back now. There's mama. <laughs> yeah, you remember them? Why you always hanging out the window, man? Yeah, it's good news. Yeah, yeah, everything's good news. It's good news. They get in my new locks and stuff. So we are on day two of my vehicle being recovered and getting worked on. Right now it's at the Acura dealership. So, you know, everything was good. It's just, they called me back. They said uh, the front brakes and rotors were shot. It's basically like metal on metal. So I gotta have them changed ASAP. So I got my keys, new keys. I got the outside door lock changed, you know, so. Cause like I told y'all, like he still has the key. I don't know what he did with the key. He, she, whoever stole the vehicle. I got that done and get in both sides of the front brakes done too. So total was 972. 
So you know, I did a little pocket check, a little sucker punch to my pockets, but you know, everything good, man. You know, I got full, full cover, so I get portion of uh, of some reimbursement. So you know, everything good this way. But they said they're gonna call me back at three to come pick up the vehicle and. I'll see y'all soon. Hey everyone, I know I haven't really been in this video. Sammy's been doing all this stuff by himself, trying to get it situated with the car, and I've just been at home with the kids. So, yeah. But we are officially, finally going to get the car from the dealership. They had, um, they had to do a couple things with it and you know we had to get some new brakes and stuff because the person like messed with the brakes even more and it's not safe to drive so we had to get that done as well but we're about to be on our way right now so yeah i'm excited because i get to drive it's gonna feel really weird though. but it's gonna be mad weird yeah, that's so weird i feel i just keep thinking like i'm on the steering wheel and this dude was just on the steering wheel. Like, that's so weird to me. Like, he was, sitting like, in he was seat, literally he was, in the uh, seat, just, eating. like, chilling, yeah, driving, toilet, bro, He had toilet seat. paper in there. Toilet bro, paper. Bro, he was on my <laughs> You never know, shit. I was going to pop in my head every time I get in that car. Like, there was a random-ass man in this car. Man or whoever. No, I said, it was I said a he dude. or she. It wasn't a girl. But, all right, we're going to uh, go update y'all when we're all finished with this stuff. Signed off on the paperwork, paid it. The car's back there. The mall's right here. I gotta get some Clorox wipes before I hop in that motherfucking seat. You wanna wipe it down? Go ahead. Trash pair of keys too. Yes. So I have the seat down and stuff. They just move, they just move some stuff. Yeah, start from the beginning. Back in the whip. Bro, I can't even explain how weird it feels right now. Like, and look, so basically I'm on the way to my detective that's on my case who found my vehicle and he told me to leave all the evidence that this motherfucker left. It don't touch nothing. Like, look, he left keys and all, like, mail and I saw, like, what the fuck was he doing? Toilet paper. What could you possibly be doing with toilet paper after you stole a vehicle? Started. Let me hear. Started up. Let me... Bro, I'm back. Feels so good, y'all. I'ma catch y'all in a bit. This bottle here. Yes, that's his. That's his. He had a saw in there. I just said, I remember you telling me, I, I hope I find a bottle or something. I think this is more than a, <laughs> than a bottle. I don't know, that was on the floor right there. It was just my uh, the baby's diapers. That's his. I don't know what the hell he was doing with that. <laughs> the cup? Yeah, that's his as well. Okay, that, what do you got in the back? Uh, back is his hoodie. See, I know first place I had to stop. Man. I had to stop at the car wash. Why? Because he didn't get all the evidence that left behind that he ain't really need. So he just told me to throw it out. I'm about to clean it out, give it a good vacuum. Call it a day, man. Call it a day. Hey, Tyler. Where's he at? He's right here. Ah, you look like a chunky man, dude. It usually only takes one vacuum because I'm a clean guy. I gotta use two vacuums. You know. Ew. You got it. You got it. I forgot to go in the van. Shower. I mean, ew. Who the fuck eats Milky Way? I like Milky Way. They're dirty. What? I say it's dirty. You put two in there? But it's funny, like, I got to get reused to my own vehicle. But, like I said, God's now great. you have to get comfortable Re again. Yeah. But, it, like I said, God is great. I got my vehicle back. This has never happened again. This should be a lesson for you guys, too. And 
just just be just be careful man just always just be don't ever man. leave your keys yes, in the don't, car dude don't leave your keys do in the car do y'all even know you ain't gotta tell them but don't leave your keys in the car be take that extra step lock your vehicles make sure you lock your vehicle i don't care if you gotta click the the whatever the key fob five times those beep, extra beep, two beep. those extra couple of seconds those extra couple of seconds were definitely ensure your safety yeah, yeah for lots of stuff for your vehicles or whatever but that's a, another well, i'm reason, out that's another reason why i wanted to make this video too for all my you know for all the subs out there that's really showing love you know i want to show them what i've been going through and just just stay safe out there again and but like i said it's a blessing i got my vehicle back i'm just i'm happy i'm happy man <laughs> i don't got really much to say but it's just crazy it's crazy yes there's motherfuckers out here who's really commit grand theft auto who really just do dumb shit and just crazy shit man just just be aware and just just watch out man just watch out but i'll catch y'all soon in the next video i'm out